Hey folks, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to get details of any ad campaign by finding a creative or an ad of interest. Uh, so the first thing uh, we're going to do is just apply some filters uh, to find uh, an ad that has been running for a reasonable period of time. Uh, so let's go to the ad network filter here and we are going to use, uh, let's say, um, we're going to use rev content here and uh, what this does basically is it shows you all the ads uh, from rev content uh, and uh, we're going to uh, adjust this days running slider now to around 30 days so that we see the ads that have been running for 30 days or more and as you see uh, on the screen and by looking at the the day, uh, the date first seen and the date last seen parameters, you can see that the uh, the ads that we are seeing are running for 30 days at least or more. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to scroll through and find an ad uh, that kind of meets my criteria for this demo, an ad that has strong presence and the campaign itself has been running for some time on multiple ad networks, and in multiple countries. The first one that I see is the Sleep Earplugs ad from Flare Audio and let's check that out. When you click on an ad, uh, you are presented with a sliding panel that shows you all the details about that particular ad and also the campaign as well. So first, uh, let's uh, look at the, uh, the, uh, the panel itself. As you can see here on the top, this panel has multiple tabs and currently we are in the synopsis tab. The other tabs are statistics, creatives, landing pages, publisher, ad networks, devices, and geo. Uh, we are going to look at all these um, individual tabs uh, in detail and let's start with the synopsis tab that we are currently on. So the synopsis tab basically gives you an overview of the ad that you just clicked on. Uh, on the left side, you see a partial screenshot of the landing page uh, that was um, associated with this particular ad. Uh, when you click on this um, screenshot thumbnail, uh, you will see a full-size screenshot uh, that we captured uh, during the scraping process. On the right side, you have a table that shows the the Alexa ranking of this particular domain um, oh, and the domain in question is listed right here at the bottom uh, which is flareaudio.com and um, all you, you see the global Alexa rank at the top followed by the bounce rate as reported by uh, Alexa and uh, below that you see uh, the ranks for individual countries uh, for this particular domain. Here you see the actual ad that you ad, that you just clicked upon and on the top you see uh, the name of the ad network. Below the screenshot you see several buttons. Uh, the first one is the full screenshot button uh, which basically uh, gives you the full uh, view of the screenshot that we just uh, recently observed. Um, the next button is a visit page uh, uh, option where you, if you click on this button, you are actually taken to the landing page here um, in another browser tab. And next to it is the copy URL button, which basically copies the URL into your uh, computer's buffer and you can paste it anywhere you want. Below that is the download and deploy button. This, this particular uh, button activates our download tool, a web page download tool, and uh, it allows you to download the page and uh, modify and customize it to your liking and uh, deploy it eventually to your server. Uh, so uh, this is a very, very powerful feature that I'm going to go into detail in another video. Uh, then followed by that, there is another button which is linked uh, to an uh, another tool, yet another tool uh, called Landerbolt. Uh, this particular tool allows you uh, to uh, host your own landing pages 
and we are uh, integrated with their platform so you can directly import any landing pages onto their platform. Uh, now let's look at the statistics tab. This tab uh, shows you the basic daily activity of the ad with up to one year of historical information. The default time span on this graph is 14 days or two weeks. The x-axis on this graph represents uh, the days and the y-axis is the raw count that represents uh, the number of times we saw the ad on any given day. Each bar on the graph represents data from one single day. The red plot on this bar graph shows the average rank of the ad that is plotted on the second secondary y-axis. The minimum value of the rank uh, is 1 and the maximum value is 5. An ad that is seen on the first impression of the publisher page gets a rank of 1 and so on. Lower ad ranking means the advertiser most likely had higher CPC bids. As I said earlier, the default time window for this plot is last 14 days or two weeks. However, you can stretch it all the way up to one year or zoom into any time period by clicking on the two handles that are at the bottom in the radar window of the plot. The creatives tab basically uh, shows you the other creatives or the other ads that have been used by the same advertiser. Uh, this is uh, basically, it just gives you an idea of how many ads that have been tried for this particular campaign and uh, which, which ads work well for the advertiser. You can see all the essential parameters on, on, on each of the ads, uh, such as the date first seen, date last seen, um, uh, the actual content of the ad, its ad strength number um, and uh, the device targeted, countries targeted, etc., etc. Uh, you also have the option of sorting these ads in various different ways. And if the campaign was seen on multiple ad networks, you have the ability to filter by ad networks of your choice by making a selection from this drop down list. You also have another filter to filter out the devices. Let's go to the landing pages tab. This, uh, this particular tab shows you all the landing pages that has been used by the advertisers. In this view you will see all the thumbnails of each landing page and by clicking on the thumbnails uh, you can see a full size uh, screenshot of the landing page. Now let's look at the publisher tab which shows all the publisher sites where we have seen the ads from this particular campaign. Uh, this is a very busy tab with lots of information so I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. On the top of this tab you see a bubble chart uh, with Alexa rank of the publisher on the x-axis and on the y-axis you have the number of days the ad has been running for any given publisher. Each circle or each bubble on this chart represents a, a, a publisher and when you hover your mouse over any of the circle or bubble you will see the name of that publisher. The size of the circle or the size of the bubble represent the percentage of traffic that this particular campaign is receiving from that particular publisher. So in general, when you look at this chart and when you move from left hand side to right hand side, you are moving from high volume publishers to low volume pubs because the Alexa rank decreases from left to right. Lower Alexa rank means lower traffic volume. Also, when you move from down to up on this chart, you will increasingly see publishers that are working really well for this particular campaign. This is because when you move up, the duration of the ad increases 
And the hypothesis here is that uh, the longer running uh, publisher placements are very successful for any given advertiser or any given campaign. So if you want to extract information out of this chart and want to create a whitelist of publishers that are going to perform well for you, you need to focus on the top left-hand quadrant of this chart. Uh, this quadrant represents uh, traffic from very high quality publisher and high volume publisher as well. You can also focus on the upper half of the chart uh, which represents uh, the traffic from all the high quality publishers irrespective of the volume that they provide. Below the chart, uh, you have a table that shows you the details about each publisher, including the name of the publisher, the ad network widget that a publisher ran. Most of the uh, high volume publishers have tried various different ad networks uh, and therefore we see multiple ad networks associated with each publisher as you can see here. We also see things like percent traffic, the date first seen and the date last seen and the duration and the Alexa rank of the pub. You can also uh, click on any of the header values of this table to sort uh, the data in ascending or descending order. You can also filter this table by ad networks if you want to see publishers associated with only one ad network. Click on the ad network drop down and select the ad network of your choice. For example, if I select rev content from the drop down, I will only see publishers for rev content. Now you have a, um, a table which shows you um, publishers that are associated with Rev Content Ad Network. Uh, you, um, Rev Content allows you to uh, whitelist, create whitelist or blacklist of the publisher widget IDs, and uh, our tool provides you with a with a feature that that can export these widgets, uh, widget IDs, which you can paste into your into your campaign uh, directly. All you need to do is select the publishers from the table. Um, you can select as many publishers as you want uh, and you can uh, uh, make a decision based on, on the data that is provided here. You can either use a duration uh, as a metric to select or you can also uh, use percent traffic as a metric if you are uh, interested in getting high um, uh, high volume. After you make the selection, all you all you need to do is click on the export widget ID button, and it basically gives you a list of all the widget IDs that you selected in the earlier step. All you have to do is then copy this list and paste it into your Rev Content campaign uh, in your either in your whitelist or a blacklist um, um, option. Another feature that I want to focus on here is these two radio buttons um, that are labeled as aggregate by campaign and aggregate by creator respectively. Um, so what do, what do these buttons do? Um, so as I said earlier, uh, the, the bubble chart that you see on the top represents traffic from all the publishers that this campaign is receiving. What do I mean by a campaign? A campaign, uh, we identify a campaign with a particular domain name uh, of the landing page. Uh, and we assume that traffic to a given domain name is associated with a single campaign. Uh, so in this case, what we are seeing is th that traffic that is coming from various different publishers from to this particular domain of the advertiser and that takes into account all the creatives and all the ads and we give you a, a, a full picture of the entire campaign here. In some cases, uh, uh, some of our customers are just basically interested in looking at data from the creative that they just selected or they clicked on. 
we can show you that data as well. All you need to do is click on the aggregate by creative button here. So this shows you the data only for that creative or that ad that you clicked on and not from any other ad that is part of the campaign. Uh, so let me do that right now. And now what you see here is uh, just a list of publishers where this particular ad was seen. Um, of course, the data will not be as much. You will not get a complete picture of the entire campaign, but in certain cases, uh, this information is useful and therefore we provide that information to you. Uh, again, you can uh, export widget IDs um, from this particular view as well if you uh, wish to do that. Hopefully I made myself clear in explaining the various features for the publisher tab. Um, and if not, please click on the link that you see on the our video right now and that will uh, take you to uh, an article that explains all the stuff that I just mentioned here. Now let's uh, move on to the Ad Networks tab. The Ad Networks tab basically uh, gives you uh, uh, the, uh, the share of traffic that this particular campaign is receiving from each ad network. And here in this case we see um, uh, traffic that is coming from five different ad networks that are listed here. Uh, and we uh, give you an estimate of the percent traffic that uh, this particular campaign is receiving from each of the ad networks. Um, we also allow you to just look at uh, the data for the creative or the ad that you clicked on by selecting this radio button, aggregate by creative, which I mentioned earlier in the publisher tab. And in this case, of course, the, the, the number of ad network reduces to one as we have seen this ad only on the ref content network now uh, let's go to the uh, devices uh, tab which is fairly simple to understand uh, uh, again this is just uh, showing you the percent traffic uh, uh, coming from desktop versus uh, mobile devices uh, and in this case as you can see only 30% uh, of the traffic or 35% of the traffic is coming from uh, desktop uh, devices and the rest is coming from mobile. Finally, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the Geo tab, which shows you the percent traffic received by this particular campaign from different countries uh, that we collect the data from. Uh, as you can see here, um, uh, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is just sort this table by percent traffic, and uh, uh, we see that this particular campaign here is receiving uh, uh, maximum traffic from uh, four, three or four different countries uh, which are uh, listed here, Turkey, USA, Brazil, Israel, uh, and then the other ones are in minority here. You also have the option here to look at the uh, traffic share uh, from various different countries for that particular creative that you just clicked on. And uh, you can again select that option here um, uh, with other, as you have seen with the other tabs. Um, so uh, uh, this, is, this is it. I mean, we basically covered the entire uh, multi-tab view uh, in this um, particular video session. And uh, hopefully I have uh, been able to make uh, some sense out of all the data that uh, is available to you uh, as a user of this platform. And uh, hopefully you can use this data uh, to uh, build uh, some solid campaigns. Um, and with that, we'll just end this video right now. And uh, until then, cheers. Mm -hmm.